I am Christopher John Bjorkness. It is March 27th, 2022. Christianity was by no means the first religion to posit a trinity of gods. The divine trinity of the Greek Orphic mystery religions preceded and inspired the holy trinities of Christianity and Kabbalah. These triune godheads are all composed of Mother Chaos, she is the womb, Father Light, he carries the seminal seed, and the androgynous son, born from the cosmic egg which his divine parents made so that it could hatch the universe. The androgynous son bears both the female and male characteristics of his mother and father. Ananka is the mother goddess of the Orphic Greek trinity. She is necessity and fate. Kronos is the heavenly father Saturn, who is eternal time. They give birth to their androgynous son, Phanes Protogenes, which is Greek for Lightbringer, First Begotten. Phanes is the creator god who fashioned the universe in the womb of primordial chaos from the semen of his infinite cosmic light. The seed of Phanes is rational and gives order to chaos. It is the Logos, the Logoi Spermatikoi. When they decided to create the universe, the divine parents, Ananka and Kronos, produced a cosmic egg, which hatched their androgynous son, Phanes Protogenes. Phanes married his sister Nyx. Nyx is the serpent coiled around Phanes' body and represents the emptiness and darkness of the unfertilized womb of primordial chaos. Phanes is the creator god who ejaculates light from the cosmic egg into the womb of chaos where the light and darkness then mix together and war against each other in a cosmic chaos kampf that produces creation and ultimately the triumph of chaos over order at the end of time when chaos finally absorbs and synthesizes the energy of the daylight and darkness. The darkness then shines. The death of the universe mirrors its birth when primordial chaos reigns supreme and unchallenged without inhibiting order constraining the absolute freedom of chaos. Phanes eventually destroys the cosmos which he first manufactured from his own light. Phanes and Nyx are the cosmic couple who gave birth to creation by mixing the semen of Phanes' light with the chaos of Nyx in the serpent's womb. Light and darkness are opposites, like yin and yang, and the synthesis of the two opposing forces produces existence. Creation cannot emerge without both forces blending and struggling against each other to produce form, motion, and change. In the end, they blend and become shining darkness in a cleansing conflagration. The cosmic cycle then repeats where it began. The Orphic gods resembled human beings. The Greek philosopher Plato sought to convert the anthropomorphic analogies of the human gods of the Orphic mystery schools into a more rational and realistic set of abstract metaphysical cosmological principles. In the Platonic system, especially in the form it eventually assumed in Neoplatonism, the Orphic trinity of the mother goddess Ananka the father god Kronos, and their androgynous son Phanes Protogenes and his wife Nyx became the ineffable metagod, which the Greeks called the One or the Monad. The One emanated the androgynous craftsman or demiurge whose female aspect separated and emanated from his androgynous being to become the world soul. The world soul is the mother who contains every individual soul in her prolific womb. According to Platonic cosmology, the first intellect of the One dreamt up the perfect forms of an ideal world. Since the One is unity, it cannot transform the potentiality of its ideas into the actuality of a physical universe without subdividing its perfect oneness into chaotic differentiated forms and thereby destroy itself. The one cannot become two or more and still remain one. In order to solve this dilemma, the one emanated a creator god called the Demiurge to do the work of creation for it. 
The demiurge was Plato's metaphysical imitation of the anthropomorphic Orphic god Phanes Protogenes, who had emerged from the cosmic egg of his parents Ananka and Kronos in order to manufacture the universe by commingling the opposites of light and darkness. The demiurge then created the universe by emanating imperfect forms of itself, just as Phanes, the light bringer, emanated his cosmic light from the cosmic egg in the Big Bang, the first orgasm of light into the universal darkness of primordial chaos. Phanes' seed is Plato's Logos, which gives rational order to chaotic matter, like the DNA of the universe. Plato called his metaphysical creator god the craftsman, or demiurge. The demiurge has a mind, or noose. It contains the logos, or DNA, of the universe as a set of rational principles and map of creation, just as Phanes bears his potent seed of light. The demiurge was initially androgynous, like Phanes protogenous. The demiurge then emanated its female aspect to form the world soul, just like Phanes married the snake of chaos surrounding him, which is the cosmic womb of his sister Nyx. The biblical story of androgynous Adam separating into its female aspect Eve and male aspect Adam replicates this more ancient Greek belief in the partition of the androgynous creator god Phanes Protogenes, which Plato dubbed the Demiurge, Nous, and Logos, into Phanes and Nyx, whom Plato converted into the gendered metaphysical principles of the Demiurge and the world soul. The Holy Trinity of the Orphic Mystery Schools is the original source of the trinities of Platonism, Christianity, and Kabbalah. In Christianity, the mother goddess Ananka becomes the Holy Spirit. Father Kronos is Yahweh. Their androgynous son is Jesus Christ and his sister and wife Sophia, or Wisdom. Wisdom is an occult symbol for chaos. Jesus is Gnosis, or Knowledge like the forbidden fruit of the tree of knowledge. Wisdom, understanding, and knowledge produce creation. Understanding is the light that penetrates the womb of the wisdom of chaos and impregnates it with the androgynous sun, who is the knowledge of both good and evil. Good is the male aspect of androgynous knowledge, and evil is the female aspect of androgynous knowledge, according to these ancient myths. The Kabbalistic system is a bit more complicated than the others because it subdivides the realms of the gods into a Trinitarian set of three descending levels of being. The top trinity in the hierarchy of Kabbalistic gods consists of the ineffable deities Ein, Ein Sof, and Ur Ein Sof. The wisdom of the Ein is the nothingness of primordial chaos, emptiness, and darkness, Tohu Vavohu Choshech. It is the primordial womb of the mother goddess that gives birth to the limitless understanding of the father god of the Ein Sof. The infinite knowledge of the light of the Or Ein Sof is their androgynous son, in imitation of Phanes Protogenes, the light bringer first begotten, who is the androgynous son of Ananka and Kronos in the Orphic system, and who bears the dialectical knowledge of the Logos. Two separate and opposing sets of gods and universes emanated from this top trinity. The evil universe of the other side, or Sitra Akra, is led by the androgynous god Satan, who separated into his female aspect Lilith and male aspect Samael. The Messiah, son of Joseph, is their androgynous son, in the form of the evil serpent that appeared in the Garden of Eden in the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The good universe of the right-hand side of the Sitra Yamina is ruled by the androgynous godhead which separated into its female aspect Shekinah and its male aspect Yahweh. Adam Kadmon is the androgynous son Phanes Protogenes who emanated the light which created the worlds below and fills the womb-like vessels of chaos with the emanating seed of his light. The goddesses Lilith and Shekinah are opposing and inverse correspondences of the female principle of the womb of chaos. Samael and Yahweh are inverse and opposing manifestations of the male principle of light and semen. There are two kinds of light, moonlight, which is the dark light of Satan, and the daylight of the creator god Yahweh. 
These two types of light were separated according to the law of the cosmos in the first chapter of Genesis, just as the divine law of Leviticus separated the Israelites from the nations. Jesus Christ is the counterpart in the Sitra Akhra, or other side, to the Adam Kadmon of the Sitra Yamina, or right-hand side. The Greek mystery religions established this dualistic and ditheistic set of opposing gods. The Greek mystery schools opposed the Mithraic cacodemon Aramanius to the benevolent creator god Phanes Protogenes. Aramanius was the opposing force of the other side and had to be given sacrifices so that evil Aramanius would not harm the Greeks and instead vented his deadly rage on their enemies. Aramanius is the opposite of Phanes Protogenes, and they exist in two opposing worlds of light and darkness, good and evil, in the eternal chaos kampf of Greek mystery mythology. This was the Greek form of Zoroastrianism, and it inspired Kabbalah and the Christian belief that a war rages on between Christ and Satan. The Holy Spirit Nix is the dove whose beating wings disturb the silence of the waters of primordial chaos in order to generate existence. She carried the olive branch of the tree of life to Noah after the devastating flood to bring back life to the earth. Satanic Noah planted a vineyard from the grapevine which is the tree of death. Noah brought death back into the world just as Samael brought death into the Garden of Eden when he planted the tree of knowledge. But that is the subject for another lesson on another day. Please like, share, and subscribe so that you do not miss the next presentation on the most carefully guarded secrets of occult Kabbalah. You can learn more about the Holy Trinity of Kabbalah in my books, Beware the World to Come, Rise Above the Gods Who Hate Us, and my book series, Satanic Secrets of Jesus Christ, which you will find on my website, cjbbooks.com. There is a link to it in the description below.